from Motown to Mandarin. That's the musical ambition of our next guest, 27-year-old rhythm and blues artist Terry Lynn, who has accomplished something no other Asian entertainer has done. She give me love, 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 crazy love. She give me love, 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 love. Terry Lynn is the first Asian artist ever signed to the legendary American rhythm and blues label Motown. A lot of uh, companies didn't really have the, I guess, the fortitude to really uh, take a first step uh, to sign an Asian artist like myself. I mean, to be honest, a lot of them I mean, just came out to me and just said to me that, uh, well, listen, you're not really blonde or blue-eyed, and you're not really uh, uh, black, so uh, where do we fit you? I mean, we don't really know what to do with you. And when I come to her, the sun goes down. Terry, a second-generation Chinese-American, says he hopes to encourage other Asian artists to break into the U.S. market. I see a lot of uh, musicians that are like uh, side people, like a guitarist or uh, maybe like a, a DJ or something on, on the side, but not too many solo artists um, really uh, sign with major labels and stuff like that. So hey, my, my dream really is to, uh, of course, I, I would like the album to be successful, but um, really, uh, more seriously, I would like it to... Uh, maybe open the door for some Asians and make it a little easier than not, you know, than not the way I had to go through the door, you know what I mean? Not have to go through all the trials that I had to go through to get into the business. Kiss and hug her, kiss and hug her he also hopes to cross the cultural bridge into the Chinese market. Uh, I'm, I'm Chinese, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of it, and uh, I want to be able to relate to the Chinese audience as well. I mean, uh, it would be, uh, sure, it's satisfying. I, I, obviously, uh, it's kind of a responsibility, I feel, a little bit, um, to uh, represent uh, Asians nicely internationally. But if I'm not, if I'm you know, doing well internationally, but not relating to my own people, you know what I mean, then it's kind of uh, missing something. A part of it would be missing, you know what I mean? To, so uh, it would be a lot, very satisfying if I'm able to also connect to uh, the Asian audience as well. That's part of the reason Terry Lynn is promoting his new CD in Asia. That and a desire to record his next album in Mandarin. Yeah.